Hi. Welcome to our... <laughs> welcome. Yes, welcome to our live. We're so excited and so nervous. This is just so exciting for us. Yeah. Um, my name is Karen. And I'm Jamie. And we are a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law duo. We, um, we repurpose furniture and home decor items. We love to find old things and make them new and give them a new life. Yeah, I mean, you should probably like tell about how we got started. Sure. So go ahead. Yeah. So Karen has always loved, like, she's an artist, so she's like a amazing artist. <laughs> <laughs> she does a lot of deep, like intricate work, so like fine painting, yeah. right? Fine yes. Art. Fine art. Yeah, and um, we just started. Well, she started buying furniture and was like repurposing it, but then we didn't know what to do with it, so she's been giving it away or like I just don't have <laughs> just whatever. Everything. But she's so good at it, and so I was like. We kept going over and over. We're like, we should totally do this. We should get into business. We should sell some stuff, and we should just paint for other people and do and tutorials. We just decided and, to. Yeah, it was just so weird. We, we just, just all of a sudden decided, you know what? Let's just do it. Yeah. Why aren't we doing this? We were talking about it for like a month or maybe yeah. two before. So you know, I'll tell you just a really quick, funny little story. My sister was talking to me the other day, Jan, and she said, you know, Karen, I think the first piece you ever did as a faux finish was that dresser I have at my house, and I got <laughs> to thinking. There was a really old dresser that I took from my, that my mom and dad gave me, and I did. I refinished it like 30 plus years ago with just the products that were on the market, and I did like these streaks, so it kind of looked like wood grain, but I was using gels or stains, and I don't even remember what the products were, but I do now remember that dresser, and I thought that I've done it forever. I've loved, I love to paint furniture. I love to paint <laughs> anything. Like, I see anything, and all I think is, I don't know what color I paint. I could paint that. <laughs> Yeah, my daughter, yeah. she's a baby, she's 11 months old, but she had jammies on the other day, and she's like, I want to paint those. So that, she's always been that way. Yeah, that's how I always am. So I'm going to get started on this Bombay dresser. Yeah. And we decided since Pantone's color of the year is blue that we're going to go in blues. And I was talking to Jamie today, and I said, now, should I just stay with just blues then? She's like, yeah, let's not scare them yet. <laughs> so that's how much I love color and how many colors I can incorporate into a piece of furniture and really make it still look very nice and a very nice piece for your home. Yep. So um, we are going to start, and I don't want anyone to freak out because this is going to look really bad before it starts to look good. So we've got layers and layers to do, and there will probably be several parts to this um, video. So the type of paint I'm going to use, and I'm going to kind of be facing this way, and um, Jamie will check for questions and will ask anything you want because we are here to help you learn. Yep. We want you to be able to do this. Um, we love custom orders. We do paint for people, but we want you to learn how to be able to repurpose furniture that's in your home without having to go buy new furniture, go to that expense, and creating and it's just so fun it's well, yeah and so everyone is all into sustainability right now yes. so like this is the way you can be sustainable is just refurnishing or repurposing your own furniture that you have so if you have like a really ugly oak dresser or your cabinets in your kitchen or whatever you can totally use this paint and refinish it and you don't have to buy new it's awesome so yeah, so this color that I'm using is water lily and this is DIY paint um, it's, sorry, you're going to get splattered, girl. <laughs> so it is um, it's Debbie's Design Diaries paint, and it's called DIY. It is a clay-based paint. So it has chalk in it as well, but it's clay-based. It has no latex, no acrylics, <clears throat> no VOCs at all. It's a very environmentally friendly paint, and it sticks to everything. No, oh, and Glass, metal, you don't have to prep your That's wood. What I <laughs> You don't have to, but on this piece, this is one of those pieces that, you know, all of this stuff is not like hand painted. That's like a screen that they do in the factory. So they go in and they stain the piece, then they do that little screen on it, and then they send it through some lacquering, you know, um, process, and you have this super shiny piece of furniture. And I thought if there was ever a time that the paint was not going to stick would be today. So I like <laughs> hit this really, really fast with my orbital sander, like took me two minutes. Hardly did anything, and you can see this paint is sticky wonderfully. So, but you normally don't have to do any type of no. prep. So. I just I like to clean hi, my furniture. Sir, hi, whoever you are. Hello. Can, can <laughs> say hi up? when you're on. Yeah, say hi to us. Let us know that you're here and watching. Um, again, this is a clay-based paint, so it's just so fun to work with, and it blends. The thing I love about it is it blends so so nice. And if I get to a point where I need it to blend more, I can just spritz it with water. I think it's me watching. Is it? That's hilarious. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to get some followers. You just wait and see. We'll get some followers. 
Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on I love it. working with this. And you can see how these colors just blend so nice together. Yeah, and I love the way it looks like. It yeah, just so blends perfect. Just awesome. fades so nice into each other. And even hey, though this is somebody else is here. Hi. Even though this is say hi when you're on. Yes, please do say hi to us. Even though this is dry, and um, I can just pull it all in there and blend it. And I'm not worried really right now about blending too much because this again is our first layer, and we're going to have quite a few layers on this. So this is kind of a medium colored blue. It's called Blue Iris. It's one of their newer colors, and it's. Just luscious. Every blue. I love every blue. Like, I can't get enough blue furniture. I'm just going to keep putting this on. This is kind of the monotonous part, is just getting that layer of paint on. And I'm not so worried even about brush strokes right now because, again, the layers. Um, I don't want to, you know, I'm not, in, I don't, I'm not trying to do like a cross hatch or, um, you know, any type of strange or I shouldn't say strange because it's not strange, but a, an, an apparent um, texture or direction. I'm trying to just go with the grain of the wood right now. So hopefully we can get this on real quick so we can start adding a few other colors in here and see how it looks. Oh, Megan's on. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. <laughs> it told me who it was this time. So glad you're here, Megan. I texted her a little while ago and said, Megan, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> be awesome. All I'm right. just sitting here. <laughs> Jamie's uh, so great. Megan and Jamie can paint. Don't think for a minute Jamie can't paint. I'm just paint. watching just the that, comments. Yeah, she's, she's on that end today. Oh, I'm Megan said it's already beautiful. Well, it's kind of a hot mess right now. <laughs> it will be. Yes. So, so far we've got two colors of blue on here. Do you need more paint? And um, yeah, probably throw a little more blue iris in there. And even these little containers, these are some things that came with some um, food. And I didn't use them for the preparation of the food, so it's just, I'm using them. <laughs> okay. We are all about recycling, repurposing. She's away for a young woman's thing for a minute, but she's here now. Hooray! Thanks for being here. We're so glad. Makes it a little easier when people watch it. Yes. <laughs> it's not just so a tiny chair. We, we can talk to ourselves. Yes. And we do people great. will watch replays. So yeah. so we, we just are happy for anybody that's here. We're just so grateful. And if you watch our replay and you have questions, of course comment because we will answer, go back through and answer questions too on, on the replays. Okay, so I've got a pretty good pretty good coverage at this point. I mean it's definitely again not done, but we've got enough on here that I want to bring in some turquoise colors because I love turquoise. And so let's do, let's do some mermaid tail first. Mermaid tail? Mm -hmm. That's seagrass. That one. I'm yep. getting there. So these are um, really rich paints. That's probably good. We'll see. Yeah. Sorry, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, <clears throat> as you start to layer too, one thing I'd like to mention is you start to layer. If you put a lot of pressure down, you're going to pull you're going to reactivate the paint and get clear down to the wood. So you do want to be a little bit careful on that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to start putting some of this on. So you on. can see that. Yeah, yep. it starts to pull if I get too, if I push too hard. So I'm just going to get this. I'm not too worried right now about my placement because we're going to have lots more paint to go on here. See, I love, the thing I love about repurposing too is before, when it was just brown, you couldn't see like all of these little, Ooh, I don't can. even know if you can even see them right now, but you can totally see like all the little blemishes, which I love because the paint just brings them out. Yeah, so you can see they've gone in and done distressing on this. So in the factories, they have distressing tools and they go in and they distress the wood. Um, and yeah, like, but you can't see it when it's, no, brown, when really. it's brown, like this totally brings it out. So yeah. Megan said, I might have missed this in the beginning, but what paint are you using? Okay, so Megan, it is called a DIY paint. It's a chalk. Do you have a can? Let me see that little guy. Yes. Cute this little label. This is what we use. It's Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. So it's clay-based display. It's awesome paint. And Hi, Jen. The wonderful thing about the clay, um, as opposed to just chalk paint, because I, I've used from A to Z, every brand out there. I've made my own chalk paint. I have 
um, you know, painted with latex paints, just the kind you put on your walls. I've, I've painted with just about everything on furniture, and this is hands down my favorite. It just, it's so fun to work with, and as it dries and hardens, when you think about clay and what clay does, when it dries, you know, out in nature, <laughs> out in the wild, yeah. I almost said, <laughs> out in nature, <laughs> It hardens, it gets so hard, and so it just kind of encapsulates its piece. So just the longer this cures, after we get it all finished and we put a top coat on it, the longer it cures, just the harder it gets. And um, DIY has a great top coat, it's called Big Top. I use it on everything. Even if I'm in a wax a piece, I always put the Big Top on first. It um, helps to control the amount of wax that is um, absorb not even so much absorb but that sticks oh sorry did I miss something yeah. so and as we get along in the process I'll teach you about all of the different um, you know products that that there are so and it's just you you're gonna have so much fun learning about all this all right we're gonna end. <laughs> did I just knock that right yeah. off <laughs> yeah well and you know when we're when you are getting your first coat on, like, don't worry about those little things. I knock stuff off all the time. No, I was just saying, like, because you were saying that. Yeah, it yeah, goes, it's just, yeah, it goes if right you reactivate through. it, it just, like, water, like, literally, you could wipe this down with water and all of it would come off right now. Yeah, I like, could, it just comes right off. It's crazy. If I took, um, if I took this spray bottle and I just missed it light, it works great to help it blend. Mm -hmm. But if I get too much water on there, then it will, it'll just start to drip. Mm -hmm. And we will do drippy furniture. Which is really Don't worry. cool. Yeah. You know, you'll love the drippy furniture. Um, but that, again, that's going to be another one. I'm going to grab some of this because I don't like that brightness right there. So I'll just put that on. It's looking cool. Oh, we're getting some good blues on, aren't we? <laughs> Lots of tones here. And again, now as I'm doing this here, I'm putting so much less pressure on because I've got all of these colors down. Um, I've misted it. And this, by the way, is a great water bottle. I've always used just the ones that you can get at the cosmetology stores and they're, they're fine misters. Um, you know, once they were developed and it, we're able to get them. But this is done by um, Paint Pixie and it's called The Water Girl. And it is branded by the Turquoise Iris, um, Dion Woods. She's a wonderful furniture art artist. I think she likes blues as much as I do. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm so attracted to blues and she does a lot of blues. I love to watch her stuff. Um, these are wonderful and they're really a must when you're painting with this kind of paint. If you want to get the blended surfaces, you can't just use a squirt bottle. It's not gonna work right. It's too much water at one time. Um, but I do remember before these misters came out, that's what we would use was a squirt bottle or little tiny bottles about this big that kind of did a little spritz. But it was like, you know, a spritz this big where this is just continuous. I sprayed this whole piece um, with that one, one spray. So I'm really liking these. I like that too. They're, they're starting to come together. It might look a little bit crazy right now. <laughs> Hi, Amy. But see, I'm just going to layer this here. You can kind of see where the water lily and the blue iris have kind of mixed to form another value. Um, our turquoise is just too wet. This is too wet to mess with right now, so I've kind of got to leave it alone. I think I would like to throw on just a titch of dark. Let's yeah. do... Which one? Should we have a little bit of green? Yeah, let's do bohemian blue. Yeah, which is like my favorite blue. It's got a little bit of green to it, and it's like my very favorite. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's like, oh, that's going to be oh, cool. Squirt some more. Put a lot of this green. Okay, so again, I'm just going to give it a little mist just because this is getting dry. Like, can um, you guys see that? So, like, this is, like, where it's dry, and then as she mists it, it gets darker. So, like, it, like, dries really light, so it looks mm -hmm. not how it's going to look when you're finished. Yeah, because once you wax it or put the big top on, then it brings those vibrant colors back. It's yeah. the craziest thing. The first time I used this paint, I thought... I've got a bad batch. Dang it. Something's not right. This, these colors are wrong. But then once I did the big top on, I'm like, oh, all the colors just came back. Mm -hmm. They're so deep and rich and beautiful. So Amy now, said, what kind of paint is this? She just why don't, you, why don't okay. you explain it? And I'll paint for a few okay, minutes. Okay, this is called the DIY paint. So it's clay-based. What else? It's got chalk in it. It's got chalk in it. It's kind of like, it feels like chalk paint, but it's different. So much better. It's way better. 
So it's from Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. But this is the best, 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 best paint. It's so easy to use. It comes off of water. Like it's, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's amazing. It's just If delicious. you're doing furniture or any type of repurposing, this is the best type of paint. You can do your kitchen cabinets with this and put their, their top coat on it. And it would, I mean, that's the only thing I would use in my kitchen. Is mm -hmm. I, I don't think I will ever paint with anything else. On furniture other than this paint ever I yeah. can't imagine why I ever would so Amy the clock that you bought was done in that paint so you can kind of feel the finish on it it feels like a little bit chalky but she did put wax on it so it'll be a little bit well it's got big toe big oh and top big top on Amy's yeah so um, <laughs> clay what the heck where do you buy it well okay so right now <laughs> you can go to jamierayvintage.com or you can drive down to Lehigh to her adorable little Jamie Ray Vintage mm -hmm. shop. It's so cute. It's you J -A -M -I, would love. J A M I Jamie yes. Ray R A Y. Yeah. Vintage. So she and her husband Zeb have a little um, shop, a little old house that's just adorable. They, it's a full boutique. Um, they have a ton of handmade, repurposed items, and then some uh, retail items too. Mm -hmm. And so she carries this whole line of paint, and secretly we're trying to get. We've got something, up, we've got something, we've up, got our something up our sleeve, so we're hoping that soon you'll be able to buy it from us. Yeah. But right now, um, I would love it if you would support. Drive Pass. <laughs> you can get it on our website. Yeah. Yes, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. And you have to pay shipping, it. which... Or you can do a pickup there. You can go yeah. there. So, I mean, it's... Yeah. But driving, I get that. I don't want to drive out there either. I do. Like once a week. I want to drive out there because I love her store. Does it make it look more weathered? Bryson wants to know. Um. Well, not when, not necessarily when it's the clay paint. Dry. Or what do you mean? It, it doesn't like crap or anything, but um, you can get definitely get a lot of faux finish effects with this, Bryson. That you that are much harder to get with other things. So with this paint, I only need water to do all of my blending. With other paints, I would have to use glazing mediums or an extender. Do medium. we have something? Oh, okay, hold on one second. Oh, Sherman and Michael just jumped on. So yes, it, it can make it look weathered if that's the look you're going for. And if you need to learn how to do something weathered, then I could teach you. Okay, so and then this is another thing. So this paint, we painted this sign with the paint, and then we were able to just wipe down to the original finish with water. So you can like weather it however you want with this paint. So like, and then what distress if you it. white it, like paint it all white solid, and then you can take a rag and literally just wipe away the paint. So then you get like this cool finish. So yeah, pretty cool. Hey, this dark is like really starting to look nice on here. I love it. It's such a cool color. Yeah, this one is. Does that answer your question? Jen said, can you use it on top of regular paint? Yes. Yes, you can. Absolutely. So like Jen, how you're painting your cabinets in your kitchen, you could use this paint and it would be so easy to put on and yeah. The anyway, best. It is the best. You can get every, I mean you can just literally get every brush stroke out if that's the look you're going for. Or it's wonderful to leave brush or, strokes in because it's so thick. <laughs> or you could paint your cabinets this color. That's right. <laughs> this is not chaotic right now, is it? Okay, so you can see right now on the piece, I've got quite a few blues going on right here. And um, I've just, I've kind of been paying attention to you and to the piece. And so it needs just a little bit of blending right now. And I actually think I'm going to take my um, VIP brush. This is a, another pink pixie brush. And Cute. Jamie Ray carries these as well. So, and I think I'm just going to kind of drag this across a little bit and see if I can just kind of blend these in just a little bit better. I love it. But you can see how, so I want this to go this direction on this because the leg is coming in this shape. So I am doing my shape following strokes on this. The drawers go across, so I want to do my strokes this direction on my drawers and across this kind of stuff. The legs again would go down, the leg would go down, down here I would come across because I do want to follow the contours of this piece. When I get to the sides, the bottom part is going to go down. This part is going to go across, um, and you kind of just get the feel of the shape of the piece of furniture that you're that you're working on as you um, do a little bit, you know, more painting. Yeah, on furniture you don't want pieces. like down strokes, unless that's like what you're going for, of course. Yeah, you if want... you so, and it, yeah, I guess that would be to everybody's preference what they're looking for, but. Like, 
normally this is the way you would do it. And especially this because it's rounded. Mm -hmm. It's the Bombay style. So I definitely want to follow the um, Ooh, shape of the dresser. got really cool in there. This part All right here. Yes, oh, yes so it looks pretty. So cool. Can you guys see that? Do you want me to zoom in? I don't know if they can. Just, I don't know if they can see it for sure. It might be a little bit out. fuzzy. Let's see. Do you sand the furniture first or as long as it's clean, do you just start painting? Yes. <laughs> you don't, you don't have to sand unless it has like a super, like if it has like an oiled finish or if it's like really lacquered. If there's you oil, can. you've got to clean your, the oil off. Yeah. But like, that's what I mean. If you, if it's super lacquered and super slippery, you might want to sand it. You don't have to, but the paint will stick a lot better. If there's oil or like dirty, gross crap on it, clean it obviously, but yeah, so I'll, I'll use, it depends on how bad the piece is. If there's oils on it, then I'm going to use TSP. It's a pretty harsh chemical, though. Mm -hmm. I just dilute it with water. But it cleans off gunk, and it starts to actually take the stain out of the wood. It's that strong. Um, if it's just a piece that I know just needs a good cleaning, I'll just use soap and water, hot water, and some dish soap. Don't, not a lot of soap, because I don't want to leave a residue on it either. Um, and then if it's... Um, if it's got like a gummy, something gummy on it, I'll take a sander to the gummy stuff and get the gummy stuff off. But other than that, you don't even have to put a piece of sandpaper to it. I, can pa I We painted on some metal um, candlesticks the other day. Slick metal, shiny, shiny metal, and a couple coats, and it just looks like they're wood. So yeah, it, just makes, really it cool. just makes it really pretty. Um, so as I've been spritzing this, it, the water, you know, obviously is going to drip down. I've got a lot of water right here. So I'm just gonna show you. I don't, I don't know if you can for sure see. I just, yeah. But if I do this, like I'm basically, I can wipe off that paint because I've activated it with water. So you just have to kind of be um, careful, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Let's see, I've got comments, but hang on, I can't Okay, see. I'm just <laughs> gonna keep putting some paint on and this dark, I'm really starting to love this Bohemian Blue on here. There we go. It's kind of just toning everything down a little bit. Um, this brush that I'm using here is called a French tip. Um, all of the brushes I'm using today come from Paint Pixie. You can buy those again, like I said, at jamierayvintage.com or you can go to Paint Pixie's website. Um, but I love it when we shop local, so try and support Jamie if you can, if you're looking for brushes. Um, this one has got, with the point, is really great for little details. If you have something that's very intricate on a piece, you can just get right in there with it. But when I'm doing small sections, I like to use this smaller brush. Okay, and Megan said, I'm just thinking of my bedroom furniture. It would take so long to sand it all, but it's probably similar to this piece, so I think I can just paint. Yes, and yes then you can. Jen said, Jackson is very fascinated with you too. Oh good, hi Jackson, <laughs> little sweet, tiny, cute boy. <laughs> yes, Megan, you would not have to sand it. Um, just know that sometimes the first coat is gonna be a little bit, it'll be blotchy and it will like well, with any other paint. But um, can I show yeah, you this? yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we have this that we're working on, but this only has one coat of paint, so you can see it's like kind of a little blotchy, bit blotchy and like over here, you can see. So like this is what it looked like the first coat usually, yeah, unless that's... it's super slippery, then it will yeah look. Yeah, but less. once I get the second coat on this, it will look so solid and so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It'll be really cool. And I very seldom have put a third coat on anything. Every now and then I have to, but not very often. So That was a sneak peek to something really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about okay. that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Bryson said this is like watching painting with Bob Ross. <laughs> oh. Very fun to watch. Hello. Yay! I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I'm here. So happy. <laughs> I love watching paintings. So. I, I do too, and I... Uh, have to say I've watched Bob Ross yeah. in my lifetime. <laughs> I could totally watch Bob. I feel like everyone's watched Bob Ross yeah, in their lifetime. He was a great artist. Worked in oils though and yeah. oils so are good. very dangerous. So alrighty. And that's the wonderful thing about this. You can work with it indoors around your kids. It doesn't it, smell at dirt. all. It's awesome. It actually smells like dirt. Yeah. Like mud. Mm -hmm. It smells exactly. like clay. It smells like clay. That's right? what it smells like. And, and that's then, the best part because normally if you're like wall painting or whatever you have that like horrible odor in your house this doesn't do it so you can do it in any room you can do it with your kids around you can do it with pets except her dog <laughs> like always wants to lick it it's so weird She's just probably because it smells like dirt but yes and we've all seen Trico with mud in her mouth so that's probably why but <laughs> she, she makes, makes me crazy <laughs> she makes me crazy 
things. I'm just adding a little more turquoise. And again, if you just see, I'm just building layers. I'm not trying to make, I'm not putting the paint in a certain place for a certain reason right now. I'm looking at it and going, okay, this is what I want here. I want it a little bit brighter here. We're pretty dark up here. I think I want some turquoise. Do you want another up here? Brighter color? Yeah, we'll let's get some old 57 on there. This is such a fun color. This is called old 57. I'm very partial to turquoise though. <laughs> I love turquoise. Is that enough or do you want more? Yeah, no, that's good. All right, we're gonna get out another brush. Ooh, wait for some happiness right here. Can you guys see okay or do you want me to like get closer? Do you guys want a close up? I might have to move the camera a tiny bit, but let me know and I'll pull it closer. Oh, that's looking pretty. Yeah, seeing a couple bright spots. Do you want to sit on your bench? Are you dying? No, I'm okay right now. As soon as my feet fall to sleep, then I'll... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like we'll have to do it on a table. Yeah. It's harder with the bigger pieces of furniture, though. Well, it's it's okay if I, if I just sit on my feet, then they fall to sleep. But if I'm up and down, then it's just fine. And the cleanup with this is great with the brushes. So I am super, super picky with my paint brushes. Um, so I clean them after every time I use them. Now, the other furniture artists out there would be saying, oh my heck, you're crazy. Because you can sit this down just like this and it can dry hard as a rock and you can soak it in water and it'll come clean. Um, or just sit it in a bucket of water and literally, if, as long as it's not getting up into the ferrule, to this metal part, mm -hmm. they're, they're just fine. A lot of people just um, put like the clean wrap around them so they can sit and just use them for their whole piece and then when they're done. But I, um, being taught in the fine arts the way I was is I've done the decorative painting over the last, I've been painting for like 32 years now, 33 years. Um, we take such immaculate care of our brushes because they're so small and any bit of the acrylic paint will ruin them. They can't, you can't let it dry. So even with these brushes that I know I could hammer, I just don't. I keep them very um, nice and clean. But you can. You can let them sit. And you know what, I've done it a few times. I've just left them in my bucket at home. Um, but then I just, I don't know. I'm, I, it's just one of those things for me. I, I like to clean them. I like to get them clean. Ooh, okay. So Amy said, so for kitchen cabinets, would you suggest two coats of paint or one coat and one coat wax? I need a consultation. Or maybe I need to pay you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to talk about that, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> So in the kitchen, I would not use, not wax. I've never right. used wax on countertops or like the, the not countertops, the cabinet. cabinet fronts, just because I want to be able to clean those really well. So I would just use several coats of the big top. Yeah. Now if I did want, if I wanted it to have that effect of wax, if the only way to get it was wax, then I would put several, you know, the probably three coats of big top on and then I would wax it. Um, the wax though is it it will harden up and and do a really nice job but it also will catch grease and grime so there are two there are several products that they have and they are called um the one is dark and decrepit it's a patina and it's brown so it would be a brown like antique yeah so it kind of antiques it or they've got a clear one and i think we could probably tint it if you wanted um a different color i know that they're going to come out with and they've got golden ticket that's gold I think she's coming out with a copper and maybe a bronze. But if you want something that is aged looking, then we would use dark and decrepit over the top of big top. And that dark and decrepit, when it goes on, it like just blends that whole piece into just this. It's so oh, it's so beautiful. Do we have anything with it on it? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Anything that we can show on. I mean, my, the dresser there does, but that's not part of. <laughs> Can't really will it in. No, that's yeah. not part of what we're doing here. Yeah, okay. but um, anyway. Okay, how, how long would you You probably here? would need two coats of paint, only half an hour. Okay, so we're doing good. So yeah, you probably would need two coats of paint, and then I would do Definitely like several coats. coats of top coat if you want it to stay. Just because you know how you, like, when you grab a drawer pole, it, like, can nick the paint off. I know, like, with my kitchen, I painted it white with just latex paint, and there are so many spots where it's, like, nicked. So I think you'd have to get a good top coat. I didn't put any top coat on my cabinet because I didn't know that I needed to. Well, you probably told me that I needed to. Well, no. And I just didn't. Your cupboards, you didn't use DIY. 
No, I didn't. But I, I should have still put a top coat. No, the the paints nowadays they just oh, they okay. have yeah. She did fine. That's why I did it. All of the and I had to buy a good one. So <laughs> yes, um, all of the paints have. Um, well, it still nicked it though. Yeah. So I bet it would prevent it though from yes. If you put a top yeah. coat on this. Well, and sure. the other thing about this is if it did get a nick, it's so easy to repair. Yeah. Like you can repair it. So um, and if you want a really nice smooth clean surface, then the. The additional coats will give you that softer surface without um, the brush strokes. Each layer you put on, you use a softer and softer brush. We wouldn't be using these for your top coat. We would be using a very fine, a nice, a really uh, soft brush. These have a lot of body to them. These are coarse bristles, um, so that's why they are so great at getting in all these little nooks and crannies. Okay, Michael said... I like it. I hate painting. I can build anything I want to, but my painting skills will ruin it. Is that it. my Mikey? Yes. Said, well, you can build anything and then bring it to my house. We'll paint it for and you. I will paint it. Yes. Build two. Bring them. I'll paint and keep one. <laughs> Just saying, Mikey. With your skills. <laughs> okay. This is looking pretty cool. It looks awesome. It's yeah, looking really we're cool. getting there. We're getting some layers going. Okay. So now that we have, now that it's kind of drying, we should spray it and show them... Yeah. Do you see how it's like looking a little bit chalky right now? So you'll see like the drier spots mm -hmm. through here. But really what this piece looks like when it's all varnished is like this. Yes. Do you see so how you kind deep of see. and rich those colors are? It's so cool. Isn't that amazing? It's like a reveal. It's like, love oh, it. it's just so pretty. <laughs> so fun. Okay, so this is really wet. I think we're going to turn the dresser really quick um, because this just, I'm going to just start making mud if we don't. Okay, so let's turn the dresser and we're going to try not to knock it off its little dollies that it's on. Well, they're always, but they're always falling on us. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to stand up. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm getting old. Okay, turn. Oh, are you turning it this way? Yeah, because oh. I want the side out that I've got those two colors on. All right, so this side, I put some paint on a little bit earlier because, and I've, it's only got two colors on. So if you remember what it looked like, bef that up the front, as opposed to this, this is just two colors. Um, it's, they're quite a difference in value to start with, but when you blend them, then, you know, they're a lot closer in value than what I like to paint with. So. Um, the reason that I wanted to leave it like this is I just wanted you to see that it's okay to add colors. It's okay to use five or six different shades of blue because you're just going to get a lot more interest in your piece of furniture. Um, this one, I think... I can't pull up comments on here. Oh, there we go. So... Okay, Amy said, I had my cabinets painted a few years ago by someone and they look crappy already, so I just want something that will help me paint, help the paint last. Okay, yeah. So the big top definitely over the top of this paint would, it would do it. It will last for a very long time. And um, I, I love how hard it gets. And I've got end tables and dressers that I've used it on. And it's, I put my drinks on it. It sits there. It's just fine. Mm -hmm. They like, it literally works really well. Now, if you put water on it, if you set a glass down that's going to sweat, you're going to get a sweat stain no matter what kind of paint or, um, varnish you use, especially if it's water base, because if it's, um, it's going to soften it if it sits there long enough. So it doesn't matter how good the, the um, product is. If it sits long enough, it will cause one of those water rings or the droplets or whatever. Um, but this, as far as like I set my Yeti on it, it doesn't sweat, but it's, you know, got the metal bottom. I pull it off, put it back on, and it doesn't ever scrape up my surfaces at all. All of my surfaces cool. that I've used with this paint are just, they're just staying really wonderful. Hi, Mom. <laughs> My mom's Hi, Danny's Mom. <laughs> okay, so on this side, let's... We got some stickers on here. Just some, yeah, they will have to come off. Let's just throw a little bit of this up here. This water lily color is kind of a periwinkle. Yeah, it's really what I'm going to say. And the blue iris will just... Oh, I'm getting old, too. <laughs> you can see the, the color difference in this. So they really are. But if you think about this as opposed to this side, because we added the bohemian blue that gives it kind of that green tone, it just, I think those two color, I think it just really works well together. Mm -hmm. This is saying, this is so much brighter and more like a fun summery on the patio in a kid's room, or if you're really decorating in that bright, bold blue. And um, without some of these little bit warmer blues, it, it just doesn't work quite as well. So, so again, on this one, I want to just 
pull it down, this color. Do you more paint? No, nope. I got lots in there. Okay. And so like if I were to just be being sloppy like this and leaving all these icky brush strokes, a lot of times if you do that, they would never come out. But with this paint, it literally, all I would have to do again is just, and this is, this is dry, so it needs to be spritzed. Um, and then that needs to just spray into the ground. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be too, too much. Wet. Yeah, but then it just glides on so nice. See, you can see how it just like blends. Yeah, and just it's so funny. Let me spritz it one more time. Yeah. I think we need just a little bit more. Well, if you look right here, I want to point this out really quick. Like, since she painted wet onto dry, so you can see like the drag skin lines. mark, like drag marks, like yeah. skin marks. <laughs> but yeah, so then once you wet it, then I want to show them how it just blends. Well, even if I just use my finger. Yeah, do you see that? Like, I can just blend that with my finger. I don't even need to use a brush. But then using a brush, it just, it just makes it so nice. Looks cool. Super, super cool. Did I not spray it enough still? It's just, I think it's getting warm in here. And oh. so I'm, this is, and this is so dry that it just soaks up the moisture from the paint. All right, and I am actually not even going to clean my brush. I'm going to go in with a dirty brush and get some of this bohemian blue on this outside edge. How's your shoulder? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna need some ice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she just had a rotator cuff repaired. How long ago? Two um, months? Yeah, no, ten weeks. Almost ten weeks. Ten weeks. And she's already doing this kind of stuff. But it's not Super a fun <laughs> it is not a fun surgery. <laughs> it is cool? not for the faint of heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can just kind of see how this warmer blue just it's just with the green in there, it just kind of helps everything blend together a little bit better. We don't have just such a bright. <laughs> she said, you're, "Amy said you're a color wizard." <laughs> <laughs> she really is. Well, I've used, I've been in messing with colors for so long that I better know my colors by now, or I should just quit. <laughs> That's I better why just this is up the towel. <laughs> so awesome! You're learning from like a master artist. Oh, she's amazing. she is exaggerating. No, I'm not. Way. Yes, no. Yeah, she, I'm the boss. Shut up! No, you're not. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, look, you're getting drips. That's so cool, oh, though. I drips are really good. Yeah. I love drips. And yeah. this is going to have some drips on it, so. Yeah, you should see her fine art that she's done. It's incredible. She's amazing. Well, thank she's you. Being, That's very kind. Being very, um, it is fun. I enjoy doing work on canvases, and I've done a really controlled painting in the past, a lot of really fine art mm -hmm. styles, and um, layering and glazing and through all those years of doing that I've learned how to layer colors and so putting it on furniture is so easy for me and then using this paint I don't even have to use a medium to try and blend or anything I can just it literally it's so free it's, it's so, so awesome. wonderful um, and I'm also trying my hand at some abstract art on canvases and it's yeah. pretty interesting well and I was gonna say too like it's you don't even have scary. to be a professional to do this like oh heaven she's no. not even literally like I'm not even paying attention really to what I'm doing. You I just basically slap it on. I'm literally just painting and talking to you guys and wondering, uh, is it time to spray it yet with a bottle? Because it would be kind of fun. I have, have my water. bottle. Oh no, it's paint. Oh, is it paint? It's watery, watery paint. Okay, like let's see. Twenty parts. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> don't spray me. You better watch out. Oh, oh my gosh! That's pretty. <laughs> Okay, so that, that looks so cool. is going to be a really pretty glaze. Okay, so now, of course, I don't want it to look like this. I don't want it to look like a spray bottle. I want it to look like this. So I'm just going to put this on, and it's going to, it's actually going to form, be a glaze, basically. As you can see, now the little splatter marks are going away because I'm using water, and I'm just helping it move. I'm just making sure that it comes through on the screen. I hope I can. Is it? I hope they're seeing it. I hope you're seeing it. It looks like it a little bit. It just has a little bit so of a sheen. So this is a brand new squirt bottle and it's like oh my gosh. really making a mess. <laughs> but it's all right. I'm good with messes. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, you can see it. Okay. Good. Especially like in this area right yeah. here where there's, because there's a glare right here, but down so here you this, can actually see what's this, because of the direction and gravity is just pulling the, the drips down is really pretty. Um, this would be a really fun combination if you were doing like a beach theme or if you wanted like the, the movement of water in a room, which is always very soothing. You don't have to be decorating in a beach scene to have 
um, just kind of that feel for, for movement in there. Um, this kind of stuff when it drips is really, really fun. Also makes great backgrounds for paintings. So I do a lot of drippy stuff. That's really cool. Yeah. And doing it this thin as I am and using the water, it really is forming a glaze for me. It's making it so I don't have to water my paint down and meticulously try not to reactivate what's underneath it. I spray it on, I don't have the pressure of a brush. I just get to let the water and gravity do the work for me. And it actually is looking that extremely looks really, pretty. really, really cool. And I want to touch it. <laughs> it's like right where I want it to yeah, be. Yeah, we should leave it. Okay, let's turn it back and we're just gonna, don't touch that because it will get you covered. All right, you can see that I had some overspray here. Here, from the cool. squirt ball. In fact, it sprayed all the way. Oh, it's on the wall. It's literally <laughs> oh my on my wall. Gosh. I hope Greg's not ever watching these because I just sprayed the wall. <laughs> But it's okay. So all I have to do literally is just spritz this. Sorry, Jane, you're going to get it right in the face there. <laughs> and then I can it. take one of my brushes and okay. I just lightly, I mean, look at that. Those are gone. All of those little marks are gone from that overspray. Do we want um, it moved back a little bit or do you think it's okay? I think it's okay for right now. So I think this is probably about as far as we're going to get with it tonight, just because this is so wet now. I don't, um, I'm not really sure what to Sorry, do. Guys. Anyway, like I'm just still wondering what I want to do with it. I know that this light can't be bright blue and I don't have enough turquoise down here. I can see that as well. <laughs> Megan said, I wondered about the walls right when you started spraying. It looks <laughs> so pretty. It just keeps getting better. Thank you. Yeah, the cool thing though is that that will wipe right off the wall. Oh yeah, like, I'm not right even worried. With a wet rag, it's just gonna come right off. Yeah, just it'll dry and it will just be like um, sidewalk chalk. Yeah. Basically, because exactly. we aren't putting a top coat on it yet. We can just wipe it right off, which is really nice and really easy. I wonder if we should like, oh, I don't wanna do it though. I was what? gonna say we should totally demonstrate that and show them how we can just get it right down to bare wood. But I don't wanna ruin any of this. Your, <laughs> your face. <laughs> but we're teaching. Oh, so like right down to bare wood? I'm not sure. Down here. What about like right here? Can they see can it down see at the it? bottom? <laughs> can they? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's like, bare wood makes me No, but cool. I want to like okay. show them how. Let's just show them right here. Just right this little spot. Okay. So okay. here we go. Yep. I just want to show them like if you mess up. Okay. So there's some water and it's only paint. It's okay. All right, Jane. There it is. There's the brown. You could never do that with... You guys no. see that? I hope so. This is just pure wood again right here. So that's just totally brown, no blue left. And that was just water and... You can see it. A towel. So Very cool. That's literally like, you can't be nervous. And if you... And say, um, oh, I wish I had like... Grab the white. Just put a titch of white in here. On something, yeah. Say you even had a color that you were like, oh, I'm just gonna try this and just see what it looks like, and oh, crap, that just is not quite what we want. Don't use that brush that you're using, but take one of your dirty brushes that you've been using and just blend it away. Like, literally, I can make that white, and we are gonna use white on this piece, by the way, but if that, say that was, you know, like bright orange, and we didn't really want bright orange on there. Do you need more? Nope. Okay. I think I, this is good, but you can see I, hey, Stevie. I have basically pulled that <laughs> oh back gosh, down. Oh my gosh, you guys almost, are so famous. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I pulled so. that back basically down to the color of water lily. So, and that yeah. was just with a few brush strokes. I sacrificed a bristle to do it. And then you see that little mess. Not a big deal. You guys literally, you can't, you cannot mess this up. And it's, again, it's just paint. If you mess it up, then paint over it or wipe it off and start again or call me and I'll tell you how to fix it because I've, <laughs> I've made every mistake out there, I, I promise, at least once. And that's, um, yeah, that's part of the process of learning how to do this. So and I could sit here all night and just blend with blues. They are so fun to use. It's so pretty. So I think we're gonna stop at this point though. Um, oh, we, better throw, <laughs> we better fix that and just look at that. Yeah, you would done. never know that she had done that because I just covered it up with Bohemian Blue. I just had to show that, though, because... No, I'm glad that you did. That was a good so idea. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we are so glad you guys hopped on with us tonight. We are going to try so hard to grow our business. Uh -huh. 
We just had a Sorry, little interruption. Had <laughs> and we're going to try so hard to grow our business and to continue to bring you tutorials on how to upcycle um, furniture. We're going to do some home decor items. We're going to do all sorts of different stuff on furniture. You're yeah. going to love it. So we're going to get a little bit crazy sometimes. But <laughs> thanks, Bryson. Bryson. <laughs> now it's a happy tree. That's right. <laughs> right. Exactly. We, we can do our anything. Now it's a happy like wave in the ocean on our piece. <laughs> Um, yes, but we are so glad to have you here. This is our first live, and we're just grateful that you guys would join us um, and support yep. our business. Anytime you have questions, you can go on our business page, Quaint and Creative with Jamie and Karen. Right That's on. Yep, it's on Facebook, <laughs> right here. Yep, Facebook, um, and then we're also on Instagram. Yeah, I was. That's what I was trying to get yeah. at. Is we also have Instagram, and we also have. We're going to have a YouTube channel. So we've got the YouTube channel. Our yeah. videos will be posted. We can't go live on YouTube because we have this many. Because we're just starting. Yeah. But we'll get there. We're just so excited. We <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay, we just got approved to have a booth at Quilted Bear. So if you're in the Salt Lake area, which everybody on here is so far, then we you'll can, find you can our get stuff our stuff there at the Quilted Bear. Starting in March. So, so March we're, first. We're excited we're for that. So all, all of our home decor items will start going in there. I'll be doing some canvases um, with uh, some DIY paint and some acrylic paint. Um, Jamie may throw some watercolors in. She's learning to watercolor, and she's Amazing. so good already. We'll see. Like she truly is, and I have to sit down and get off. I know. Feet. They're they're just killing. Um, oh yeah. So anyway, you guys are wonderful for being here, and I just keep saying that because I am so grateful that you were able to come on and watch us. We will do part two of this dresser next, either Wednesday or Thursday. We'll let you know. We have to figure out which night Skylar does not work. Cause, My husband. Yeah. yeah. So. He's a, he's a law enforcement officer, and he does have some overtime shifts, and he works one of those evenings. Yeah, um, I have three little kids, too, so we got to figure all out here a good time. They're all just being so good for <laughs> yeah. us, and there was no noise tonight, and they're all upstairs, so, and you'll meet them. We'll bring the kids in at some point and let yeah. you guys all meet them and just see a little bit more about what we are um, all about, our families, everything, and we just enjoy our time together, and yeah. um, it's just a great thing. Painting is such a great, relaxing creative outlet. So I hope that all of you guys will dare to pick up a brush, <laughs> throw some paint on it, get that end table out that's got all those scratches on, and let's start painting. And we can make it all brand new again. All 